I bought a sliding gate opener from eBay for less than $300. The picture shown here is the motor and the control board. And these are some other hardware and the nylon gear rack. In this video, I will show you how to install this gate opener. Don't worry if you know nothing about motors or electricity. It is actually pretty easy. First of all, I assembled the mounting base from the supplied hardware. These four anchor bolts will be buried in a concrete pad and the motor will be sitting on top of it. This is the trench I dug for wiring. The end of it is going to be the location for the gate opener. After I laid the conduit ran the cable, I put dirt back, only left the end area empty. A motor was installed on site to get ready for the concrete. My mode for the concrete is done. You can see the white pipes and the wires come out. This thing will go into that, just like this. Okay, then we're gonna pour concrete in. Okay, the concrete is poured. It's actually my first time to pour concrete mix into a mold. Used up four bags of 60 pound concrete mix. Gonna be damn heavy. Can't wait to see the results. Yep. The motor was removed one day later, and here goes my concrete pad for gate opener. Rock solid. Then my gate opener sits on it. Looks pretty cool. The two slots here in the front allows fine adjustment for the position. I wasn't able to figure out the purpose of this mysterious piece of hardware until I was about to install the gear rack on the gate frame because my gate frame was round the pipe. There's no way to mount the linear rack on it unless I could add some brackets and this is how I made use of those mysterious pieces. I screwed this onto a 2x4, let's grab 2 4 Lean against the post here. See. Then I'm gonna wilder it just like the others. Now the gear is up, the opener is bolting down, next will be the wiring. The white cord here is the main power supply. Just make sure you get the live neutral ground wires right. There's a power indicator on the board, it turns on when the power is connected. Now I'm pointing at a potentiometer, which you might need to tweak if the motor needs more force or less. Just use a small flathead screwdriver to turn it. Once the wiring is down, you can do some test with the remote. Very exciting! The motor has a soft start stop function, which is very helpful to preserve your whole system. After everything is tested, it's time to enclose the motor with the cover. You push it all the way in and use the supplied sealing screw to fasten it. Make sure you tighten it hard to prevent any water leak from the screw hole. Here is the final view of the gate opener in full swing. All four pieces of gear racks will mount. 
making a continuous linear 12 feet long movement. It stops automatically on the end because I installed a magnetic limit on the gear rack, which will trigger a stop operation of the motor when it passes the device. There is a sensor on the upper side of the plastic cover. In order to activate the sensor upon the approach of the magnet, make sure your limit is installed not too far away from the gate opener. For more details, please visit my website. Thanks for watching.